Take a letter, Miss Marsh. Ross Emporium, Kansas City. Dear sirs, may I call your attention to the sleek texture of this wonderful hosiery. Note that the back seam is practically invisible. Look at them, just as glamorous in back as they are in the front. Hoping you favor me with your business, I am yours truly, J.K. Nixon. Hello. Oh, Jessup, it's about time you called. Bring your grip right down to, huh? What? I don't care if it is your anniversary. All right, stay home, but don't come back here. You're fired. Miss Marsh, are you married? I've been thinking of it. Well, don't think of it. Marriage and business don't mix. From now on, anyone in my employ who gets married gets fired. Get that letter out. Only a half-wit would get married. Hello! Oh, hello, wifey dear. Yes, sugar plum. Of course I will, pet. Goodbye, doll. Hello! Get me Dylan! Hi, Ann. Oh, have we got news for you? What did I tell you? We're married. Yeah, got married this morning. Her name's Ruthie. How do you do? Hi, ain't she cute? <laughs> you sit down, honey, while I go spring the good news on the boss. Oh. Eddie, I wouldn't tell him right now if I were you. Why not? I want to shout the good news from the housetops. Yeah. Is that so? You mean your wife doesn't want you to go? I understand, Dylan. I understand that you're a stupid idiot to let a woman lead you around by the nose. Oh, surprise party, eh? Well, I'll give you a surprise party. You're fired. And that goes for anybody else in this firm who gets married. Oh, Eddie. Uh, Eddie. I didn't Come in, to... my boy. Come in. Just... Come in. Just the man I want to see. I just fired Dylan and Jessup. Married men. Thank heavens you're single. Yes, sir. I, I no want... time for talk. We're catching the train for Springfield in 20 minutes. Go pack your bag. Yes, sir. My bag's already packed. It's out. Good. Good. Had this all figured out, eh? Oh, no, sir. Not exactly. Come along, Eddie. But, Mr. Nixon, I want to tell you something. Tell me on the train. We'll be back Friday, Miss Walsh. Oh, Mr. Nixon. Eddie. Oh, honey, I've got bad news for you. We're not married. Not married? No, well, and that is, we are, but we aren't. It's temporary. Being married? But being not married. Oh, Eddie. Honey, Jones, we'll just make that train. Yes, sir, coming, we'll just make the train. Oh, the train, honey, it's the Keystone Limited. You'll be on it, huh? It leaves Grand Central Station, I think. Coming, Jones? Oh, yes, sir, coming, Jones. It leaves Grand Central Station around 545, track 10. All aboard! No. Oh, coming! <laughs> Oh, honey, don't be mad. Don't be mad. A fine honeymoon this turned out to be. Well, I told you if that old sourpuss finds out I'm married, he'll fire me. Look, I'll try to find out where we're staying in Springfield, huh? Jones! Ow! Jones! Yes, sir. Oh, yes. oh, there you are. Get me the Springfield file for my briefcase. Yes, sir. Oh, uh, where are we stopping in Springfield? At the Marbury. Yes, sir, the Marbury. <laughs> Oh, 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 you oh, idiot! I'm Look sorry. what you're doing! I'm sorry. You're sorry! That's what you Get to bed. Yes. What do you do? Uh, <coughs> well, good night, old boy. You too, madam.
99. <laughs> now you stay put. I beg your pardon. Well, I... And what are you doing with the boss's leg? Well, uh, good night, old boy. You saw something, miss? Of course I'm sure. Those staring eyes, it was looking right at me. Oh, shucks, baby. That wasn't nothing but just a little old ghost. <laughs> ghost? What am I saying, a ghost? I saw something. I saw something. I saw something. Nobody out there. It's impossible. What's all the excitement? All the latest. Ah! Ah! Three fourteen, please. Well, Eddie, we did a good day's work. Look at those orders. Yes, sir. We better turn in. Oh, uh, I thought uh, I, I have things to do. I thought I'll, I'll see you All right. later. Uh, oh, hello. Uh, do you have registered in, in this hotel a Miss Holman or a Mrs. Jones? Well, which is it, Holman or Jones? Oh, well, either one or uh, uh, both. That, that is, well, you see, well, it, it, it's, it's two names, you see, it's just one person. Do you see? No. We have a Mrs. Ruth Jones. That's the one. That's the one. Mrs. Ruth Jones. Uh, where is she? In room 316. Oh, thank you. Oh. Duffy, you'd better keep an eye on that guy. You're telling me. Hey, Ruthie. Ruthie, it's me, Eddie. Ruthie! Open the door, baby. It's, it's me. It's Eddie. Why, Eddie! Ruth. What are you doing here? Well, for the love of me, Ellen Johnson. Uh-uh, it's Ellen Duffy now. Yeah? <laughs> I'm married. My husband's a house detective here. Well, what do you know? Oh, congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, well, maybe I, I ought to kiss the bride, huh? What are you waiting for, music? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 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 
won't mark it. Have you broken down a wolf? I ought to tell you live from right. Now, wait a minute. I can explain everything. I'm not a wolf. I'm just a married man. See, my wife's in here. We're from New York. Yeah, I'm from Missouri. Yeah, glad to know you. How are the folks? <laughs> no, but if you... Is this man your husband, lady? I never saw him before in my life. But Ruth! Mm. Your wife, huh? Oh, that, that, that she's the biker. Ah, I don't believe it! <laughs> Operator, room 316. Well, what do you want? See, <laughs> don't you come here because I won't let you in if you do. Pardon, sir. Could you tell me where room 316 is? Uh, no, I don't know any. Uh, 316? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, uh, look. You see that room right over there? Yes, sir. Well, that's not it. But you see the one right next to it? Oh, yes, sir. Well, that's not it either. But you see the one right across the hall? Yes, sir. That's it. Thank you, sir. Where did the man go? He done disappeared in thin air. And that ain't good. Better ready, baby? <laughs> Daddy's little lamb cop asleep. Oh, oh, oh. oh you're awake, huh? Ooh. <laughs> hey, is something the matter, baby? Oh, come on, let's have a look at you, huh? <laughs> you're sore at me, huh? Oh, how should I know that guy was an old friend of yours? Look, I'll apologize to him anything you say. Hey, bring him around. How could I be jealous of a dopey looking half wit like that? What a kisser. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Uh, whew, come on, let's eat, huh? So quick. Why, darling, what are you talking about? It, 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 What's wrong? Chimpanzo, you're not mad at me? Well, of course I'm not. Why should I be? Well, you should. You acted uh, when you were in bed. I haven't been in bed yet. Haven't? You feeling all right? Oh, sure. I feel fine. I hope. Oh. Joe, Joe, you've been working too hard. Yeah, working too hard, that's it. Uh, darling, I'll get you oh. something to brace you up. Good. Oh, why don't you put your slippers on? They're under the bed. Under the bed, under the bed. Sure, Bobby. Hey, what goes on here? Those slippers must have shrunk or something. I can't even get them on. Yeah, I'll show you. Look, they're much too small. Uh. Are you losing your mind? Could be. Stuff supposed to brace you up or something? Yeah. Well, get me another one. What do you want, oh? Mr. Nixon, I gotta see Eddie. At this time of night? Why, young lady. I'm not a young lady. I'm Eddie's wife. That's no excuse. His wife? <laughs> because you're such an old grump, you've spoiled our honeymoon. Honeymoon? Oh, well, I wouldn't do a thing like that. Now, don't well, cry, can please. Can I see Eddie now? Why, of course, come in. He's gone. 
Mm, that awful woman up the hall. I was going to forgive him. I'll show him. Wait a minute. I'll go with you. The playboy. Hurry up with that stuff, honey. I'm getting awful pale. Now wait. Now wait. Wait, now wait. wait please. I can use your face. I can use your face. It's a little very bad mistake. Oh, please. 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 Now, please, look, I can explain the whole thing. Oh, gee, oh, gee, oh, 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 I'm sorry, Mr. Nixon, I'm sorry. You're sorry, Jones, I ought to fire you. But, but... Why didn't you tell me that you married this lovely young girl? Well, you know, you said about marriage... Never mind what I said, you're going on your honeymoon. When do you want to start? Right now. Oh, oh. 